going to prove to you that Paul preaches the so-called change life gospel, the biblical doctrine that, that your life changes after you get saved. Let me show you some verses in that, because this goes in the, right in the face of all these easy believers and heretics who say, oh, it's just belief. It's just belief. There's, there's no change life. It's just belief. That's all it is. You know? And of course, I do agree with the sentiment that salvation is free. It's a free gift, obviously. But this thing of, oh, it's no belief. There's no repentance. There's no calling upon God. It's a heresy. Okay? Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9 to 11. Because there is a change that comes in your life. Go there. Go to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9 to 11. I'll read it to you. It says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves of mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, covetous nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Look at verse 11. But such were some of you. Hear that? Such were some of you, but ye were washed, but ye were sanctified, but ye were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. Such were some of you. See, there were people in the Corinthian church that were fornicators, idolaters, effeminate, sodomites, all this stuff. They were sodomites, they were drunkards, they were thieves, but they were that way. Such were some of you, but they were changed. He doesn't say you were still like that, he says such were some of you. Go to 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. A good verse that ties into this. It says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. Again, ties back to 1 Corinthians 6. Such were some of you. They're a new creature. All things have passed away. All things become new. Last place we're going to go to. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1 to 5. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 to 5. It says, And you hath he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sin, who were dead, by the way, were, past tense, who were dead in trespasses and sin, where in time past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that thou worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past, in the lusts of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, who were by nature... Or, sorry, and were by nature the children of wrath, and even as others, but God, who is rich in mercy for his great love, uh, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ by grace, ye are saved. Again, they were that way. We were, it says, we were dead in sins, but he quickened us. There's a new, you're a new creature. Such were some of you. So, in fact, you say, oh, it's a heresy. Well, I guess Paul is a heretic then, because he preached a gospel of a changed life after salvation. Such were some of you. He quickens us. You're a new creature. That simple. So, I, I guess Paul is probably a heretic too, because he preached a gospel of a changed life after salvation. That simple. And again, it's not you doing the changing. The Holy Spirit comes in and changes you. He cleans things up. It's that He cleans things up in your life. It's that simple. It's not a heresy. It's Bible doctrine. So, uh, don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye. Thank you.